ce lifestyle. The stuff it's doing already with the workshops, with the, with the talks in the colleges and all that kind of stuff, it's brilliant. Like. It's kind of peer-to-peer, -peer, passing on skills. We're hoping to promote the industry. We've invited chefs to come in. So we're here today in the Westbury Hotel uh, for the Chef Roundtable. Chef Network came down to uh, Clarny for roundtable talks. We're in the beautiful surroundings of Mount Juliet Estate. Mm -hmm. If we don't have food operatives, we don't have a food industry. Over 40 chefs inside there today, all willing and wanting the same thing. It's very positive that the Chef Network are trying to encourage people to come together and improve things. The kitchens as a workplace have changed a lot over the last 20 years. I really believe in open collaboration in, in, in industry. Some lads are writing it off even before they step in the door. They're going, I'm not going to be a chef. I'm not going to be abused. I'm not going to be shouted at. And how do we make the kitchens a better place to work? And everyone's just voicing their opinion. There's no right or wrong answer. We're basically kind of teaching each other. Where we're talking about kitchen culture and developing um, a charter for a better kitchen workplace. It's really about having an honest conversation. Here's the principles that we can implement. Acknowledging and praise. And we have to encourage them and we have to praise them. Uh, respect. Nurturing the team spirit and camaraderie. We want inclusion in the industry for everyone. To give our staff some training. How can we make work-life balance better? What can we do to give back to the community? Anyone any questions so far? It's our role to make sure the next generation are better than us. <laughs>